Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about a tree data structure. Now we have talked about linked list, stack and queue. Now tree is another ADT. Now if we talk about tree, it, it is basically a structure where it's similar to linked list you can say. So in linked list what we have is let's say if you have A node and you have B node. So what happens is A node will have a reference of B node right and then uh, B node will have a reference of C node. So we have this in linear format. In tree, what we have is we have the almost similar structure, but then with, with a difference. In tree, we normally create a structure like a tree, but you can imagine a middle image of a tree. Uh, normally in tree, we have roots, we have uh, branches, we have uh, leaves. In the same way, if you talk about a tree here, imagine this is a root node. This is a root of the tree and this A, instead of having one reference may have multiple references. In this case, I'm getting two references. Uh, so A will be knowing about B, B will, I mean, A will be knowing about C and then D. So after A, we have these three nodes. Maybe this C itself will have a more, uh, some other nodes. Let's say we have uh, X and here we have Y. And maybe this D has one more node here, which is maybe uh, K. So K, so we have all this, all these nodes here. Now this is the topmost node, right? So okay, everything, every box here is called as nodes. So these are nodes here, and this the line between these nodes are called as edge. So I would say this is edge. So we have this as node B, X, Y, C, all are nodes, and then this is edge, and the topmost is called as a root node because this is where your tree is getting started. This is your root node. Now if you talk about this A. So A has a node which is B, A, A has a node which is C, and A has a node which is D, right? The same goes with C, C has X and Y. But what about this K? What about this Y and X? We don't have any other further nodes here. And in fact, B as well, we don't have other nodes. So these nodes are called as a leaf node because we don't have anything at the end of after that. So the topmost is called a root node. This is where you will start your travel cell. If you want to store data as well, you will start from the root node and then you will go down and down and down. So this is your node and then the end nodes are called as leaf nodes. So these are normal nodes in between, but then A has a special name which is root node. Now this is about tree. This is uh, so you can represent this with different languages using Java, C, C++, Python. Now with this, we have a very special type of tree, which is called as a binary tree. Now what does binary tree means? Now binary means two, right? So if a node, so let's say if you have a node, which is A and if this node has two more nodes like C, or D. So maximum if you have two nodes, this is called as a binary nodes. So if you have two nodes, so binary nodes, and that's why the tree is called as binary tree, where every node will have max to max two nodes. So either we can have a zero node, or we can have one node, or we can have two nodes, not more than that. So this is how you represent your binary tree. Now in fact, in binary tree as well, we have certain, certain types. Let me just write it here. So we have certain types in binary tree. So first one is strict binary tree. So we have the first one, which is strict binary tree. Now what is strict binary tree means? A tree where an every node will have two sub nodes or no children. So uh, and again, we have one more term here. So the C and D are called as children. So if I have A here, and if A has two, which is C and D, then this is called as a strict binary tree. In fact, you can also have inside C, we can have two more nodes. Let's say we have X and we have Y. This is also a strict binary tree. Now you might be thinking about D. So yes, we, so when, it, when you say strict, it means either two or no children. So here you can see we don't have any children to D. Now how about if I say we have, uh, let's say X has one more child, let's say K. Now in that scenario, this is not a strict binary tree because we have only one element or one children node for X. So this is not a strict, so let me just remove that. So this is the first type. The second type we have is full binary tree. Now what is full binary tree means? where you have a you have a tree where every node either either has two i mean they will be having two sub nodes for example we have c and d again and d has two let's say let's say we have x and y and d should also have two more nodes so so that they will come on the same so let's say we have p and q here right so we have d also has two more nodes which is p and q so a has c and d and c has x and y and d has p and q so all the leaf nodes should be on the same level so you can see they are on the same level so this is what you call as a full binary tree where all the children are of, on the same level the third one is called as a complete binary tree 
when you say a binary tree is complete, it's very simple. Where you have a tree where all the nodes are on a level. So let's say if I if I define it C and D again, and here if I say X and Y, and then we so this is also called as complete binary tree because you have all the all the leaf nodes on the level so let's say this level is let's say i will i will call this level as l so either it should be on l level or l minus one now which means if you have one mode here or two mode here let's say we have k and we have c now this is not a complete binary tree because the leaf node are on the are not on on l and l minus one because if i say this is l then this is l minus one but this is this will not work so there should be two more nodes here then it will be called as complete binary tree Right, so this is not a complete binary tree. So if I undo, so this is a complete binary tree. Now let me draw a simple, uh, simple tree here. So if I say we have A, and then we have B, we have C, and then we have inside B we have D, we have E, and inside E we have F, and we have G, and then I will draw a line here. So these are all my nodes. And inside this F also we have two more nodes here. Let me just draw it. Uh, let's say this is X and this is Y. So now looking at this tree, we have certain terms here. So again, this is a root node, right? So this is your root node and this C, G, Y, X, I mean X and Y and D, those are your leaf nodes. Now we have to remember two more terms, which is height and depth. Now what it means? So depth means Let's say if you talk about this E, so what is the depth of E? It is A, B and E. So that's the depth of this E. And what about the height of E? So height would be, it's the, the children's of E. So we have F and we have X, right? Maybe this X has two more, uh, two more, two more subparts here. Let's say we have K and we have L. So now for, for E, it would be F, X and K. So this is the height of E. So when I say the depth of E would be two, so we have so we have two because it is A and B, right? So A and B, those are the two 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 nodes we have. What about the height of E? It would be F, X, and K. So it will be three. So right, so three uh, height is three. Now what about the depth of a root node? It's always zero, right? Because this is the first element, so we don't have any depth. What about the height of a root node? Is it again? So you have to say A, B, E. So we have to go for the longest one. So it is A, B. E, F, X, and K. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So height of this tree is five. Oh, that's a new term now. So we, we know the height of the root node, right? So height of the root node is same as height of the tree, or you can say height of the tree is same as height of the root node. So that's how you, so we have this two, these two terms are important when you go for the coding part. So yeah, that's it. That's what your tree func tree thing is. So we have talked about what is tree. We have talked about binary tree. Now we'll be doing the implementation of this using different languages. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section and do click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching everyone.